What's up Preop 1003, my name is Ethan, and in this video we're going to be going over working with the denied section of your pipeline. This means that you can mark your file as of course denied, but also withdrawn, canceled, whatever you need to put there, and it'll allow you to issue a denial letter from inside the system. Uh, this will also help you keep things organized in your pipeline, keep your working pipeline clean and clear. Before we get started though, make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with any uh, new features which are coming right around the corner that we're very excited about. Um, of course, we want you to stay up to date with any tutorials or any um, uh, new demos or anything like that. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, and now we can go ahead and get started. Uh, I got my demo account here. You'll see that I have a file already in the denied status. So of course the question is, how do I get my file from wherever in the pipeline to the denied section? Um, so the way that you do that we're going to go ahead for the sake of this demo and use this file here that is currently in processing so you know this file is in processing and the process is working on it. it brought something to my attention now I have to look at it and I have to deny this file now uh, so how do I do that the way that you do that is you're on the pipeline in the action column to the right click the calendar icon that'll take you to the critical dates page for the file uh, and let's scroll down to the denied line item of the critical dates page this is the first step and getting your file into a position to either mark it as canceled, denied, withdrawn, whatever you need to do. And it's also the first step in getting the denial letter out for this file. So the way that we do this is we click this little yellow uh, calendar icon to the right of the denied line item on the critical dates page. And it says, do you want to you know, update this file as denied? We say, yes, set it. This is basically just setting a timestamp for this line item for this status and you can of course edit the timestamp um, all the day long by clicking this green the same icon but now it's green uh, in the same spot to the right of the denied line item here on the critical dates page uh, you can either delete it by clicking that delete d date button that's here on the left in this window or you can change the date itself and change the time and then click update denied whichever you need to do you can do it there uh, but now that we have the file in the denied status uh, of the pipeline. We know that we have it there because the green pipeline icon to the right of the word denied, I'm sorry, to the left of the word not denied here on the critical dates page is green. So that means if we go back to the pipelines page, we'll see this file in, in the denied section. But before we do that, I want to show you how to mark it as withdrawn or canceled. Uh, it's this line item here that says denial reason. And you'll notice that this line item was not available before. So now that we have the date set, that first step completed, now we can do the second and go ahead and mark it as withdrawn, incomplete app, whatever you need to do here. And uh, let's go ahead and go over getting a denial letter out from the system. So to get a denial letter out from the system, you have to go back to the pipelines page. Uh, let's go ahead and do this easily by clicking the pipelines icon in the upper right hand corner and clicking pipeline. Um, so we're going to click that. We'll see that in our denied section, we now have this, this file that we're working on here and it's no longer in the processing part now it's in the denied now how do I get that letter out well the letter is going to be generated by clicking this icon here in the right in the action column uh, if you hover over it it says issue a denial letter it looks like someone writing a letter so we're gonna go ahead and click that and on this window we can click all the we can make any necessary changes that we need to for the letter uh, prepared by how do we deliver it all this stuff at the end of doing all that we're going to click this blue generate denial letter button. When you do this, it's going to take you into the file that you were just that you made this letter for. It's going to take you to the document management page. So if you ever get lost, uh, go back into the file, click on the left document management, click all you'll be in the same spot. Okay. Now to get the PDF version of this, uh, of this letter, uh, we're going to click the download button to the far right of the file in question. I'm going to go ahead for this demo and click this one for the borrower named Lucy and the PDF will be downloaded to my browser. I can go ahead and click to open it and download, save it to my computer, print it, whatever I need to do from here. Uh, and then the last thing that I want to show you uh, when working with denied is if we go back to the pipeline um, by clicking pipelines and then pipeline, you'll see that that file is no longer on this page. It's not in any of the other sections and it's not where we left it in denied. And that is because the this is the working pipeline. The system moved this file because we're not going to work with it anymore, ideally. It's moved it out of the working pipeline to keep things clean for you. So how do I find my file again? Well, you click the pipelines icon here in the upper right and click all pipeline. And if you have a lot of files because you're a super successful loan officer, uh, let's go ahead and click the status bar here and filter it to denied. So now you just see the denied files. You can easily click the loan number or the uh, view application icon here on the right in the action column to get back into that file, make any changes that you need to. Okay. So that's 
working with the denied section, the denied function of the pipeline, uh, we do get some frequently asked questions about how do I issue a denial letter? How do I mark this file as withdrawn? Blah, blah, blah. Quick disclaimer, guys, if you're watching this video and thinking to yourself, I don't have these buttons, I don't have these options, how can I follow along with what Ethan is showing me if I can't click these buttons? Uh, the reason that you can't click the buttons is because most likely is because you're not a corporate admin for the account. So if this is the case, uh, please check with uh, other members of your team, see if they're corporate admin uh, and verify that they can do this and you cannot. That's the issue. If you you have any questions comments or concerns regarding this particular aspect and please submit a ticket to the support team using the tickets icon in the upper right hand corner now back to the video hopefully this video covered those questions for you if you have any other questions please leave a comment in the comment section below uh, of this YouTube video or click the ticketing icon in your account in the upper right hand corner at any time on any page and you'll be able to get in touch with our entire team. Again, make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can stay on top of uh, all the videos that we release. And um, yeah, hope you learned something. Hope this uh, answered your questions and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.